This is a Western Unimount. What is it? Seven and a half? Seven and a half poly plow. Sounds like it needs a little grease in there, but it's all good. Everything's there, ready to go. It's in good solid shape, it's no deflector, all that stuff stays with it. A 2000 Dodge 2500. It's in real nice shape. It's got 57,979 miles. Not a lot of miles. Right now it's got a Western snowplow on it. Let's open the hood. And look at the engine. running it well of course it should be it's almost like new it's a 5.9 I guess that would make it what a 360 no not a 5.9 Cummins <laughs> Looks like it's all stock, all original. Let's look underneath. Tires are in real good shape. It's a Laramie SLT. Let's look inside the bed. See, look at that. A lot of times those are broke. Not this one, they're in great shape. It's got the Dura liner back there. It looks like it hasn't been used a lot. There is a little bit of rust. I didn't see any on the, much on the other side. This one fender has some right here. That's it. Just started. Let's go for a ride. It's got a nice, what is it, Weston? I thought that was a hotel. There we go. Let's make the plow go up. That would be down, let's go up. And off to the right. Creaking a little bit, needs a little, uh, a little grease. All right, I'm gonna shut this. I'll leave it on. Let's go. All right, went in gear real nicely, very smooth. No traffic. No traffic. So let's see what this thing's got. Good, smooth, sound acceleration. It rides good too. And I love these Dodge seats, they're really comfortable. We're gonna turn up here. We're gonna put it in four low, four high for you. Once I get around the bend up there. Real sound. Boy, with a plow up there, it's not even rattly at all. All right, here we go. Well, I'm going to check the brakes out here real quick. 
stops nice and straight. All right, let's put it in four high. I didn't even take it out of gear, so it doesn't bind up or anything. Now, we should have a light, I think. No, I guess not. Okay. You can hear the transfer case just a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it, I can. I know it's in four wheel drive. Okay, now I'm going to stop. Now I'm going to put it in neutral and we'll put it in four low. It's in four low. And here we go. That is definitely a low gear. That's it. You can go about 30 miles an hour in it. Okay, nobody's coming yet, so I'm going to take it and go back to two-wheel drive. I wonder, okay. Neutral. Back to two-wheel drive. There's two high right there. Four is one more click this way, and then back to two high, two high. Now I'm going to punch it, and let's just see what we do. I'm just going to bring it up to like 65 from a stop. Okay, here we go. This is sweet. Very nice. I'd like to do that more. <laughs> this is a nice driving truck. All right, well, let's check all the other stuff out. Horn works, wipers. Let's check to turn the cruise on. Cruise shows right there, see it? On, off, set it. Yep, sets real nice, works real nice. Window, window. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's try the radio. Yeah, radio works. Blower. Blower works. Oh, we got mirror heat. Wonderful. You got mirror heat there. Also, you got a sliding rear window. It's manual, so you do it yourself. Now we're going to spin around in this intersection. Let's check the... There you go, low fuel light. You get a little warning, letting you know you got low fuel. That's good. All right, here we go. Now we're just gonna drive it easy. Let's look at, see what else we got here. Oh, that's the best cup holder right there. That's nice. That's it, pretty simple. You can adjust your mirrors right here. They're electric, electric heated mirrors. And uh, let's see what else we have. This is for your garage door opener. You put your garage door opener in there with the Velcro, and then that's how you actuate it. So it's nice and clean. Lights work. Got a place for your sunglasses right there. Very smart. The oil change is due in a thousand miles. Done by Mobile One. Well, this here is a very solid truck. Thanks for joining me on the test drive.